It's your boy Sheen, the head chef. Swizzy. And we are back, and we are jumping back into the bear for you guys over here on YouTube. Uh, we did a double for Patreon, so I just that's just letting you know, man. If you want to jump ahead in some content and some reactions, you need to click that link in the description to our Patreon. Head over there and sub up because we got some exclusives. They're uncut, and you guys are definitely missing out. But without further ado, let's jump back into the bear. Let's get it. So what's today? Nice sit exam. Sounds really serious. Yeah, it's boss level. He's stressing. What's nice at level two? Uh, nice at level two, it's a, a fire suppression exam. They fail us over. What? He in love, bro. I'm really sorry. I just, like, um. Never, ever apologize. I just want you to know that this is really nice. So nice that I, um. You're waiting for the other shoe. You want to know a secret? Yes. Nobody's keeping track of shoes. Damn, she's so tough. Fuck this whole mind up, you know? And then we, we put this uh, balloon on the line, and if the balloon fills up... If it leaks, you fail. If it leaks, we fail. And if it doesn't... You achieve level two. Is this just the most boring shit you've ever heard? Not so interesting. Is it? How often do you get to talk about sodium potassium bicarbonate? Never. She came at the perfect time for my boy. No cap. No cap. Very, very beautiful. Well, break a leg, Bear. And she called our boy Bear. That's so tough. Wow. And this boy, he needed her. Mm. Shout out to that boy, bro. I'm happy for that boy, boy. No cap. Happy for that boy, boy. No cap. If she wasn't around, he'd be in the crib stressing right now. He would have been He's up all stressing, night. but not as much as he would be. You can tell he went to sleep, woke up, and sat on the counter. He would have been sitting on the counter all night. The boy Marcus should be they got to slap him. Nah, they 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 playing some songs right here. That's the playlist. I be on my smooth, relax, tight. He's done. He ruined it. Yeah, you're done. Chalk it up, my G. Even Tina mad. She would have closed this shit on her. Not open yet, ma'am. She called him man. Sir. Was looking for some old mean so and so named Tina. I'm Tina. This used to be a good restaurant here. It's a better restaurant. Uh, they had to close. I heard there were too many old bitches working here. Couldn't hack it. Old bitches like us their bitch ways. Maybe they're happy with where they are. Or afraid to change. Maybe they get scared. Afraid. Yeah. How an old bitch would think. But that's why they surround themselves with bad motherfuckers who take care of them. She was trying. They're having a really hard time hiring. What they're really looking for? Stubborn, childish, immature, pain in the ass, with arthritis. I might know a guy. Uh -huh, you know how they get it. You know how they get it. That boy been calling for fucking Man, months. Man, try to pop. Nah. Nah. He ain't even go to the school, G. Two ah, weeks. What are you thinking about? Fire suppression test, you? Controlling the zone, staying calm, creating space, trust. Delivery's come in five minutes. We got new hires in an hour, and we're two weeks out from open. If we fail this next test, we we're are fucked. fucked. Exactly. exactly. The best offenses have the ability to reset and, and adapt on a dime. Coach K, boy. You pulled up in a hey, fucking suit. Let me say suit. one thing before you start laughing at me. Nah. I don't hear anybody laughing, G. Thank you. Left <laughs> Madison, dickhead. That's what they needed. They got everything with the fire shit. We need this shit. Everybody thinking about that, really John. That was gonna work. Really did not. Oh my fucking god! Carmi said he was gonna handle it. Okay, well he obviously didn't. So. Got to figure out the gas line first, chef. That boy locked in again. That boy Marcus over there. Clocking to work, we don't say hi to people. Is that like a Danish tradition? Relax. I was we just surprise. don't say hello anymore. I'll surprise you. With what? With this. One of three. I see with the olive oil. 
Let's see with the olive oil. Ha <laughs> ha! She funny as fuck. Yo, Yo everybody upgraded. That shit good. crazy. It's gonna be interesting. Very yes. Yo, what's up? We good? Hi. Um, Can't even really. have to taste it. Broken as fuck. Fuck right. Yeah. Shit. Christmas, my my mom drove uh, her car through the house. Um, who's Claire? She's a well, girl. It's a girlfriend. Friend. Oh, so, so sorry. She's a girl that's a friend? She's a girlfriend? Ooh. You think? Okay. Uh, next. Uh, your mom drove a car through a house. Yes. Our house. It was actually very fucked. And I don't know. I was talking to Claire last night, and I kind of had this this realization that maybe I could I could kind of take them back, you know, make them my own, the cannolis, you know? Yeah. That's healthy. Thank you. Nah, that is healthy. Can't just hope it's better about it. Redella mousse. Mm -hmm. Parmesan shell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dipped in pistachio. Ooh. That's, That's something, something, right? On it. Damn, <laughs> just like that. He gotta get a bite of that. Tina. Yeah. Yo, look like that, huh? He stole that from my boy. He stole that from that boy I was working with. Marcus. For real. Yes. <laughs> Yo, Carmi got <laughs> away with the word, man. He, he didn't got to say nothing. Yeah, like, yo, you doing your thing, man. You got to think he was really him with this chef shit, so he... That shit got me, baby. It's about to be mad people standing out there. They sent the fucking head boss out there. Go freshman. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah. Come on now, fresh meat. <laughs> Nah, you scared of shit, Tina came out me mugging. Holy fuck? shit. <laughs> I can't be mad at him. He's just scared. I, I can't be mad at him. Uh, I was gonna say that word. I can't be mad at my man Ebra, man. He really led our restaurant, bro. Nah, he's done. Yeah, take it. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> <laughs> this guy skipped the whole school. Nah, off of that, you can't come back, bro. He's done. Sorry, you're wearing he's done. a suit? Don't make fun of my man. Yeah, he wearing suits now. Mace it. Mace it. That boy had a whole yeah, new... shit. <laughs> he asked for this shit to fall I want to apologize. I know what. For? Everything, I guess. Okay, hold on. Hey, can the closest person outside my office come in here, please? What's up, Nat? Gary, Richie would like to apologize to me, and I'd like a witness. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nah, he being serious right now, though. I'm being serious. Yeah, so am I. Turn up the heat. Let's go. Perfect person to come sit in there, too. I think for a long time, I didn't really know where I fit. I would shove myself into, like, places and things where I definitely did not fit. And I think that that probably made things worse. I'm sorry if I took anything out on you, if I treated you like shit, because I actually do think that we could fit good together. Mm. You just want to be a part of it. I'm wearing a suit because it makes me feel better about myself. That's tough. He actually want to feel better. And it's that conversation the boy had with him, like, respect I think yourself. You did a really nice job. Thanks, Gary. I feel genuine. Like, from his soul. No GNR. Why are you wearing a suit? Why are you covered in shit? I was fixing the gas line. Well, I wear suits now. That's so sick. <laughs> it's cool that they like yeah. supporting it though. Can my sister come to friends and family? <laughs> Francie Fack. Now she can go fuck my love. Is it because of the thing? Or like... What do you think? You really? Use your brain, babe. And his sister is not invited. She ain't invited to anything. She wasn't invited to the Christmas party. If there's anything at all that I can do to make your life here easier, tell me. I'll fucking do it. I need this place to work. We need this place to work. You and I will interview for front of house today. Okay. Okay. Deal. 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 The boy Gary was in there just to witness it. <laughs> oh my God. No. Where the fuck does the time go? How long was he gone? What was it a week? A week. Thank you for apologizing. Okay. That's a big step right there. Even though she said baby steps, that's a big step for Richie. Behind. Uh, boys hey, hey, I wanted to uh, show you something. Wait, what is this? Are we are we drawing? Are we doing drawings now? Well, no, I just I had to draw these because we didn't have the heat, so I couldn't. You show had you. to draw them, so then you like whip out these fucking Sistine Chapel. Like this, yeah. there's like shading. He did say he used to he draw, used right? To draw. That shit looked real. Cause remember she was trying to draw her shit, <laughs> and she was just making like scribble. Out and uh, she's gonna hook it up. 
Okay. Uh, did we talk Level about two, a deal? Level two, baby. Or? It's that time. Uh, yeah, I'll give you his number, and uh, you can go ahead and you can call him. I'll show you. Uh, this looks kind of like a chaos menu. Well, no, it's like it's a thoughtful chaos menu. Claire and I, we, we were talking about it last night, and, and she helped me realize that maybe I was clinging on to some things that, I don't know, maybe I just I, I don't care that much about anymore. This is good, right? Because this, this is what you wanted. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, great. She's trying to hold her smile. I feel like she's mad that... Being like that, what's up? I just, um, I didn't know that we were, like, running our menu by Claire. We're not running the menu by Should Claire. Should I send my revised cogs to your girlfriend? You don't need to send anything to, She's not my girlfriend. So she's not even friend. your girlfriend. She this is what you wanted originally, like and that's what I'm giving you. It's so now. awesome. This. And I'm no, sorry. Not I, like, awesome. fucking, like, Dude, hated I'm cannolis stop, my stop, whole life, stop. and now... Stop. Really I, tired, and that wasn't cool. Yes, and same. Okay. I am tired. But well, sorry, using that like you bugging out. I'm just, just let me know I'm 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 fucking up because I am like I'm. No, you know I'm trying. I know that you're trying. I see that you're trying. Obviously, okay. you're fucking doing these beautiful drawings. Obviously, you're trying. It's, right. We're okay. We're back. We're good. Good. We're good. Yes. Okay. I just think you need to decide. If she's your girlfriend or a friend. Among them might be if this person is your girlfriend or your friend. That's a girl. Yeah, so, right, that's, I'm being shitty. I mean, not great. That's tough, Cindy did that for him, no. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be uh, shitty. Okay, so don't be. Oh, cool, so like, I just won't be then. Okay, like, so, all right. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, how the fuck do I do that? <laughs> Whatever I have to do to put out a fire, lead, or follow, I'm doing it. Hey, good luck. No, she like she could fit in there. Mm. Well, she ain't it. She's got seven years. We can't hire her because every single napkin on this table is folded in alignment with the salad fork, except for her. She just sat there. The salad fork. Did you turn the napkin beforehand? Sugar, you guys want stars. That ain't a star catcher. If I'm her, that napkin would have driven me fucking crazy, and I would have fixed it. That's a fact, though. You turned the napkin. Yeah, of course I did. That restaurant shaped that nah. <laughs> It went that boy right into place. What is Fox doing? The boy praying? Were you hiding? Yeah. The boy's scared. Too. This shit go bad. This shit was for nothing. Is Claire my girlfriend? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> you have to like ask? You have to like ask to see? Girlfriend's a horrible word. Yeah, are you my girlfriend? That's like, that's <sighs> fucked, right? Totally fucked. You want to be my fucking shorty flow? <laughs> Yeah. Baby, you just came from a funeral? Yeah, a funeral of all my enemies. No, I wear suits now, T. Oh, shit, you wear them well. But... That is their restaurant. That shit look clean I in there. I told you it's hey! the <laughs> Give me two, bro. My fuck, G. I need two, it dummy. It was advisory, man. All right, that joint look beautiful in Ooh, there. Oh, we got she the new pots. pots. Remember they said they didn't need to just clean that joint, but nah, we need that, baby. You want her to be your girlfriend? Yeah, you do. What, what is a girlfriend? How much do you love her? I don't know. I just like, like, I love her a lot. <laughs> hey. Hey. You good? Yeah. Your suit is, is nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're suits Some boys gave him the suit and let him keep that jewel. Listen, Carmen thought this might be nice on the line, but he wanted me to run by in case maybe he thought it was too intense. I know. I, I think it's nice. That's a photo of all of them. I think it's going to be of Mikey, too. Did your family have a catchphrase? No, I, I'm an only child. Is it the every second counts? Or let it rip. It's nice, though, that you had a Carmen net. No, you do, too. Mm. Hit me if you need anything. Okay. That's the perfect spot for the every second count. You saw he put the... He got OCD now. Nah, he a star catcher now. Everything gotta be in place. They can put the every second count right below that clock right there. Letter red. Oh, that's the letter he wrote on. Until they can come back. Three weeks. So really, if we fail, we really fail. Let me get some of that. Yo, fat. Who put his mouth on that team? I'm been drinking on that John. Not nah, fact. You got this John, though. Hey, Unc. Hey, sweetheart. Listen, I'm out back. Can you come uh, meet me in the car? So, how's that baby? Ah, uh, getting close. Name yet? Not yet. I got a million things to do, Jimmy. Appraisal on the lot came back. Not great. Not bad. Oh my god. Hammered on taxes, obviously. But starting to look like skyrocketing interest rates. 
you know, if we have to refinance because, uh, you know, there's no money coming in, we're still closed, the best we're going to do is like seven. Oof. But in the real world, probably more like nine. Now, look, it's all okay if there's something coming in, right? If there's nothing coming in, Our it's not okay. Can you be open in 10 days? Or, more clear, you fucking got to be. You understand me? If you were to have kids all over again, what would you do? Oh, honey, I wouldn't have him. He's annoying. I want to be not so fucking afraid of things, you know? I protect them less. Mm. I want to have more fun. Make more mistakes, get in more fucking trouble, you know? W advice, no cap. Okay, if he'd have walked in asking no questions, boys would have been like, fuck. Neil. Yes, Mikey E, bro. May I borrow Phillips' head? Okay, yeah. all the Seen. Out front, Five years. Black party. Why is it burnt? Because Mike Yellow was on drugs. He figured something out. Jewish lightning! Neil, you can't say that! I didn't! Yes, you did, I heard you! That hole in the wall. What if something's in that wall to cut the gas line? What? He did try to burn out the restaurant for insurance money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he overrode the system. I think that he overrode the fire suppression system so the gas wouldn't turn off and it wouldn't put the fire out. Damn. Come on! Yeah. Let's Come get on. it! Let's get it! Locked in. Yeah, go to fire, fire suppression. suppression. Oh my god. The boy Carly, her heart sunk to his ass. She didn't even <laughs> say no. I will now check the gas line. That shit blow up in his face. Ten. What the fuck? They froze at nine? This is cold. Sad. Hebrew! Yeah, they ain't have my no memories from my boy. Nah, they all put a lot into this. Like, this shit got me scared. Like, I'm standing there. Suzy next. I'm grateful for all your my friend. Six. Psst. This a long three seconds. Ooh, they did a good job at this. This guy got so much shit going on. Keep going. Two. Says here the chief operating officer is Natalie Brazado. Congrats, Natalie Brazado. You have a restaurant. Yes! Now we get turned tonight. Free eats oh, for a month for you, boy. Nigga, over in 10 days. They started, they haven't cooked at all. Yeah. And they all got brand new shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they got me trying to book a ticket to Chicago to go to the bed. Nah, this is fire. He had a five star server. No and that boy Richie. But we haven't seen them cook in like three episodes. Bang, Amber. Bang it. That's a big ass steak. What do you think? It's beautiful. Thanks. Yo, you got a second to help with the lighting levels? Yes, yeah, just give me um, one minute, okay? I just. Um... Gotta call Claire. I gotta call my girlfriend. Ah! I have dreamed of you in the Oh my gosh. <laughs> Turn me up then. Level two, baby. And you see how they making showing... a dinner. He's making a dinner for her. Nah, but you see how they showing a restaurant and, and a hosp her hospital system. Yeah, she says hospitality. She's staying at my boy Craig. Oh. She really watching Duke. Coach K. And he made his mom spaghetti. But what he did different is he made his own noodles. Now that was tough. That's the best episode we watched so far, no cap. Nah, I think the other one was. Uh huh? I think the. I think episode seven was. Forks? Yeah.
Yeah, that those the last two is these the best one. two no back to back. No cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap. We might have to put these two on at the same time. That was in the episode eight of the bear, and like me and Swizz were saying a few seconds ago, these two episodes were the best two episodes yet from like from season one. Really enjoyed episode seven forks. It gave me the enthusiasm and the life that I needed to continue to watch this. Because Richie was like the last piece that was we needed to watch turn. Yeah, I was gonna watch it together. But it like it watched. now, it's now it feels it's like hot. the like the show is going so much smoothly now because everybody's like working in tandem. I like mean, from, came back. Yeah, yeah that just caught me. Yeah. <laughs> that just got me a little bit. Boy, ain't take no classes, bro. With Richie going to that restaurant and just understanding that every job does matter, no matter how small it is. Like it really gave him that that mindset to go to the bear and like no matter what I'm doing, I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. Like I don't have to have the leadership role every time. I just need to do my job correctly, and that's what's gonna make the restaurant go. Not me, not me being in charge and deciding what goes and what doesn't. So seeing that whole episode from the beginning when it was hard for him to get up in the morning and get out there and understand why he was polishing the forks to the end of the episode where he understood everything and really didn't want to leave that restaurant even though he was doing the small jobs he felt like he was doing something and it was helping the restaurant go around and as the guy said like all 200 of those people made that restaurant go on orbit and he was a and he was a part of that 200 person team that helped the restaurant continue to go and make people happy whenever they stepped in there. So enjoy seeing that. And in this episode, just put the icing on top with everybody coming back together and seeing that Carmi's outside on how he wanted the restaurant to be run and then putting everybody in certain spots and making them take certain opportunities that were gonna help the restaurant in the long run was amazing to see all come together. Sending Tina to that culinary school, sending Marcus overseas to Denmark uh, to work with Luca so he can actually enjoy coming back to the bear and working on what he needed to. And also getting some knowledge from that. And then sending Richie over to that restaurant to learn from the best and understand that no matter what job you have, it's important to the to the restaurant loving this can't wait to see how these next few episodes go um the restaurant is up and running so can't wait to see how the first few customers really take it all in not everybody can be the igl you feel me we need people in the back of the pack that's going to be helping the back of the pack continue for we need people in the front to keep their eyes and protect the people in the back and then we need people in the middle you know what i'm saying that's going to watch the left and the right you feel me so richie got that experience being there um it taught him a lot and then now he's going to be able to be that person too you know what i mean when they go out how's everything doing you know what i mean he could bring that a uh, sociable personality that he has Instead of him being at the front of the restaurant, there's going to be people sitting down. So now he can go table to table. You need to go out and experience different things to get a different perspective on it. You know what I mean? And a lot of the times people think the grass is greener on the other side. But all it really was is you got a different perspective from the other side. So um, even though, you know what I mean, he was asking them, is there a job opening there? Um, he could take that experience that he had there and bring it to the bear and, and make it a better place. Um, like I said, when he was at that other restaurant, he's going to be able to look at the bear differently and see why Carmi wanted to push and push them for the change that he was pushing for in the beginning episodes where everybody was basically going against him and wanted to keep the basically the old perspective um, and the old mindset that they had before. And now he's starting to see the other side of it because before all he knew was the bear and how they, I mean the beef and how they ran it there. But now he's starting to see how a higher performing a higher star restaurant is really ran um how they eat how the head chefs talk to everybody how everybody is like cares about the fine detail of their job you know what i mean even uh, chef terry her just peeling the mushrooms when she didn't have to she was like i like doing that I like the you know what i mean start my day off this way and the other chef that he was talking about talking to the asian guy you hear it yeah he mm -hmm. was saying that like i don't 
cook. I don't do none of that. I don't play. I just really love serving people. You know what I mean? And that's something that I felt like Richie could connect with because he was always that person that was like joking around when people when they came in the front of the restaurant. Um, he could still do that, but then he could also shift it. Um, cause not that's not gonna fit everybody. And he got to see that when she was had the list. Like everybody's like that team don't like Bro. to talk to people. Like so don't go there talking. Cause you gonna ruin you gonna re, you gonna ruin their experience for the restaurant. There's people over there that like their food to come out faster. There's people that want their food coming out slower. There's people so it's like seeing that and just how like they were communicating it they were talking without verbally saying it to each other like they hand off the notes like i'm gonna be watching the next time i go out to eat i'm gonna be watching like bro yeah, not even note. Like, you got a note about your shit like Ugh. not even writing down the food and it though, was so smooth because like you wouldn't even think that they was doing something like that or had a system in the back you would just think that they had like a good like they really got good workers. they got good workers but like bro they know they customers you know what i'm saying so nah, that's buying um, into a system right there yeah even like them giving really? the one couple that free meal that was like famous or whatever like even though they gave them that free meal like they're gonna get that in return more by them coming back them telling their friends to go check it out you know what I mean? They can go on like their social medias and post about their experience. So it's just having a bigger picture um, with the whole um, aspect of it. But yeah. to see that boy Carmi and Claire, man, that shit, duh, like yeah, that's my shorty. Him. Like stop playing. Like, and it, he's like, now he's proud to say it. And like my man uh, Marcus said, that's healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he's taking the cannoli and he's taking the cannoli. Taking I was a traumatic man. thing for him. And now he's changing his whole outlook on it. So. It's crazy to see how we shifted. We got two more episodes left. Nine Damn, and ten. Two. I think there's a season three. I think Tokyo said there was a season three coming out, but but nah, man. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and let's throw it on subscribe on the bell icon to notify you these videos. Like I said, man, we recorded this on May 9th. We'll be done with the bear season two. We'll until the next video. The kids react.